Bolton Wanderers on the left, led by Bill Riddy. Manchester United led by Jimmy Murphy. Eddie Hopkinson, England's goalkeeper. Nat Lofthouse leading Bolton, Brian Edwards behind him. Now be presented to His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Nat Lofthouse, lucky man to be at Wembley. He was badly injured not long before the final, in fact, before the semi-final, and many people didn't think he'd be fit enough. Corner for Bolton. Taken by Holden. Parry. Strala out to Edwards. Lofthouse a goal! And Lofthouse a score. as joyful as ever puts Bolton into the lead after one minute and it's taken him 45 seconds longer than it took him in 1953 when he scored for Bolton in 75 seconds so Bolton leading 1-0 now his Webster Holden number 11 Stevens Edwards to Stevens a goal by Lofthouse and Greg is hurt and Bill Redding comes on to chair Lofthouse and no man deserves a cup winner's medal for such a fine career as that Lofthouse Freddie Goodwin congratulating him and Manchester United sportingly applauding the winners as that Lofthouse comes up to receive the Football Association Challenge Cup the scorer of both the goals, there's Jimmy Murphy congratulating him. This is the moment of, this is the moment of joy that, oh, the moment of joy that all professional footballers hope for. And, of course, all the fans of every club. Well, he said in 1953, if he won a cup winner's medal, he'd walk on the roof of the Wembley stand. And now he's won it, and holding the cup, presented to him by the Prince Philip. And you could almost lip-read what he said back. Well, that's it. All the fuss has been about that since the first week in September.